let's jump to the storyboard, to the 3D, to the, to the new product that we're launching. It has all these new functionality that, that we have, I have shown you today, but it goes a step beyond that. It brings the ability to, to incorporate 3D elements. Someone was mentioning before that it's really important that I make the differentiation. We call it the storyboard 3D because we're bringing 3D models, not because it's stereoscopic. In our tools, we can do a stereoscopic productions, but that's something that happened at the harmony level, at the production pipeline, not at the storyboard level. Here at the storyboard level, is the concept is that we're bringing 3D models incorporated directly into the, into the pipeline. For example, here, we arrive, we have this, uh, this panel, like we were using before, and actually this panel is a 2D panel, and we can bring a 3D element to that 2D panel, and actually we have now this 3D element on the system, directly here, incorporated with the other 2D elements. Everything combined, let's say that in this panel, we wanted to have a, an element. I can select my pen. I would try to do something here again with a not so nice drawing. Let's say, look, like I'm a stick man. <laughs> okay, now we have our character like that. And then basically, we can just move the character. And if we move the character outside, we can see it that automatically the system allow you to have the proper position of the character directly in relation with the 3D part. In the same sense, let's just remove that only one. We can have our character there. And basically, with this character, we can just as well position it, put it outside, or on the border of the cornice here, or get it inside the system. It's really, really simple and easy to incorporate the 2D element directly into the 3D environment. Now let's say that we come here to this panel. We have our library like we did it before. And in this library, what I will show you here is that I will bring a full scene, interior scene. And in this one, let's select it. And I will read a little bit on the front here. I will go a little bit down. Something like that, I will scale it up. Okay, let's say that we have now our 3D environment here. We can actually have ability to select multiple elements from here. We can select each element separately or we can combine and do a multiple selection. We can actually position the 3D elements in a different part. It means that we're combining a previous situation directly with the storyboarding to make it really integrated inside the system. And then let's say that we select this sofa here, we go to the top view, and we can move the sofa a little bit further here. We can rotate it. Let's position it like that. Let's do a small rotation like this. And let's now we can draw here our character again in this layer let's draw our character and with that we can have let's say that is written a newspaper there we can select our character and we can move it a little bit inside the sofa is that automatically the system is putting the right elements in place to have a proper perspective of what's going on there. Now, can we do a camera move? Yes, actually we can have this scene. We can select our camera and we can ask the system that we wanted to have a keyframe at the beginning and at the end. And at the end we wanted to do a tracking like that. And we can just need to press the play button and automatically we have our movement directly in the 3D. As you see, the concept here is make it really, really simple to do a scene, to do a pre-visualization, and with that we can export a PDF. Is that the whole concept of creating the whole storyboard became to be much more easy to do, incorporating 3D elements and, and the, from the library 